Hi everyone, Mike Brown back with you one more time with another lesson in Adobe Photoshop Elements 11 from Educator.com. In this lesson, we're going to talk about two tools that we haven't discussed prior to this, and they are the Gradient Tool and the Paint Bucket Tool. Somewhat similar, laying down colors for various reasons. Under the Drawing collection of tools, right below the Brushes tool, you'll see the Paint Bucket tool, and to the right of that, the Gradient tool. In previous versions of Adobe Photoshop Elements, they were grouped together under a single tool, and you'd click, and they would fall kind of like here with the Selection tools together, but now they are separate in Photoshop Elements 11. For the Bucket tool, we have these options down here. You can either work with colors, that it's going to lay down colors, and you have blend modes for them, or it's going to lay down patterns, for which you have all sorts of choices of different kinds of patterns and textures. Color or patterns. Now, you have an opacity choice selector here. You also have a tolerance slider. And again, your blend modes, you can sample all layers, contiguous color, and anti-aliasing to keep the edges smooth. Let me show you the basic and obvious way you would work with a paintbrush, just blindly. The basic methodology, you have a foreground color, that's what it's going to work with. We have the paint bucket. Uh, we're going to do it in a normal mode with an opacity of 100, and you simply click and it fills. In this case, I had left it on the pattern, so it filled with a pattern. If I clicked over here with the paint, it fills with a color. And obviously, if we had changed the opacity and click, it would have been a lower opacity. Just your basic filling tool. You can also do that with the Edit menu, Fill Selection. And basically, you have the same thing. You have different options of colors you can fill with, blend modes, and opacities. Pretty much the same thing you can do down here. All right, so that's the basic way of using it. Let's take a look at some other methods of using the Paint Bucket tool. First off, let me go with the Golden Gate Bridge shot that I have right here. Let me change the foreground color to a kind of a sand tone. A little too yellow. That's more like sand. We'll click OK. Now, if I fill with the Paint Bucket tool, again, at an opacity of 100%, I'm just going to fill it. That's what happens. However, and there will be, by the way, there will be a lesson in the filters and blend modes, so you begin to understand these. These are your blend modes. This group here starts with Darken does exactly what it says. It darkens. Everything that is darker than 50% gray gets darker. Over here for lighten, everything that's lighter than 50% gray gets lighter. The overlay down to hard mix increases contrast in various degrees. Overlay is kind of your median. Soft is less, and then they get rather harsh. Difference in exclusion, do some weird things that I never figured out. And then you can fill, and with hue, saturation, color, like we're going to do right here, or luminosity. So if we take this at 100% opacity and fill with color, watch what happens. Surprise. Another way to make a sepia tone, if you will, we fill this entire image with this foreground color, and therefore it turned it into a sepia tone effect. Now, you're going, what good was that? We have other ways of doing that. Let me show you.